thank you uh, to Joey and Colin. Next now, Luke Allen and Balbiro Forrest Belton. with Neptune in the sign of Pisces. Aries. With Mars and Neptune in your 12th house, there will be a song that you hear without being able to hear the song. The sun faces the stars like a choir and embraces a chorus. In the first week, orbit close to your jumper. Open your mind to the possibility of a great river dividing you and your flesh. Taurus. Your trip will most likely not happen. Ask your bedstand, am I eclipsing myself? And since it appears that you are one, be a distant location. If you have no plans, please go ahead. Even saints' shoelaces come undone. Become wiser with each nap. A counter earth of spat champagne. You're going to get weaker and then better and then we go again. Gemini. New moon in Capricorn, brandishing your enormous wishbone. Mercury is still retroactively grading your froth. If you like me, needs must. Your routine arousal will hit on itself. You will get very short in January. This is where your shapeless essence rests. Cancer. All your sneezes have come at once. This is how yellow feels between your hands. You are at your fingertips end. Your computer uses you for tweet remarks and pen orders. The comfort that brings no comfort. May you be long refreshed after a wild break. Storks have a scent too, and vases. Frame your ideas around this. The key to seeing your future is really crying sincerely about moments. Leo. Planets and cereal crops can be a fucking nightmare. Close your eyes towards the sky tonight and you will be assigned a single flower. And close your thoughts in a slither of noise. The silver of flame that licks the air brings a passion you need to withstand. Seek out the suctions of the universe. Relieve yourself in a posh fountain. Virgo. Subsequent to the bitch slap of winter, you'll know the lush edge of a foresailed sun. Like a loud white snowflake on a street corner, or heat pulsing on a silent pink coast, founding weird fights, a massage in a glass of milk in one. What's the lightest rain you can imagine? Libra. Make January the month of U-turns. Don't buy any dissipated items. If you have an upright purchase to make and want loose conditions, wait until Mercury ramps up to its former embrace. Buy cling film in a small town, for example. There is no exception. Only time will tell on you. Scorpio. May you slip into something more comfortable than January. May you read weather forecasts, footnotes, a package holiday in headache form. A build of pajamas on this side of the future. Suddenly, tiny lemons. You seem rare to small sea creatures. Take a break from that. Stride through snow and boredom. Sagittarius. An ocean of storms, plus or minus daylight. Pluto breaks things down and then wants what you have, sometimes forever. When you let your guard down in this part of the night, workmen appear. You may be left tearing meat from the walls for ages. Capricorn. The past means you ought not to fritter away the future like a holiday of pure cash. Gift yourself a cardboard silent second, then a second. Turn directly upon your neighbor. And then, you may want to take your watch off. You may want not to pay in bags of clothes. Motorway hours are yours alone. A 
Aquarius. Let the past be a verb, a blue webbing around your ankles. Take a rope made of air and trace it. There is nothing to do but not. Venus will keep going on about the past for the foreseeable future. Your life is an imprecise science. You will see results as soon as they can endure you. Pisces, this is not a month to forge ahead. Go big with plans, but small with follow through. Consider pilots for one minute a day. Spread your pocket tissues over the spice rack. March, but in your dreams. Be decorative about your future. Imagine your life as a movie with you as the popcorn. Are you sweet or disappointed or both? Thank you. Thank you.